Hey guys, what's going on? Today we are going to show you, as you could tell by the title, winged liner for hooded eyes. This is very simple, very quick. We're gonna keep this short, sweet, and to the point. So if you guys are interested in seeing how I apply winged liner with my hooded eyes, go ahead and keep watching. We are zoomed in so close, you can probably see every single flaw on my face, but that's okay because I'm gonna show you how I do my winged liner. So by far, the best eyeliner brush if you have small hooded eyes that's my cat making those noises it's strange but he does it all the time anyway by far the best eyeliner brush that i've ever used and i feel like i've tried almost every one is the sigma e06 it's so good my dog decided to try to eat it <laughs> but look at how thin the tip is and how angled it is it just allows you to really access that like fold between the eyelid and the lashes and it just makes the job so easy and the same goes with the gel eyeliner from sigma it is so nice and creamy and easy to use and it doesn't transfer i have hooded eyes and oftentimes it transfers up onto my hood and i look crazy like an hour into wearing liner but this combo is so good you guys check it out i have a link in the description for you guys i also have a coupon code you do not have to use it if you don't want to but i will put all that information down there maybe i'll put it up on the screen as well so you guys have access to it if you are going to pick anything up from sigma this eyeliner brush if you have hooded eyes or mature eyes is so good so let me show you what i do now i obviously have most of my makeup on already and i have lash extension so i'm going to try to kind of push those down with the back of the brush and then i'm just going to load up the brush with a little product goes a long way a tiny tiny bit and i'm going to show you how I do like a micro wing gel liner. The first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get even closer to you guys so you guys can see, is look down in my mirror. So I'm holding my mirror down low so I can really have access to that area. And so I make as little mistakes as possible. And this would be a lot easier if you didn't have lash extensions. If you guys haven't seen my what you need to know about lash extensions check that video out if you're thinking about getting on their high maintenance and it makes makeup application a little bit more difficult especially if you have hooded eyes so check that out if you're into it but the first thing i'm gonna do and i've got some mascara up there but ignore that is i'm not gonna go in with the wing first i'm going to go in on that area where like the fold occurs between the lashes and the like hood of the eyelid if that makes sense and that's where i'm gonna apply all of the product first so we have a nice opaque black line and again this tool is so thin that it really help like stops you from making mistakes and it just makes life so much easier so you can see i'm dipping back and the reason is because i want to only go in with a little bit of product at a time if you go in with too much that's when mistakes occur so i'm really just gonna get in there i'm not trying to go above that little fold at all and the closer i get in the like smaller my strokes are and the more i'm going in towards my like eyeball does that make sense so small little strokes are the way to go and we're basically done like that is so easy now i'm one of those people who have lashes that grow staggered so like I have some lashes at my lash line and then I have some that are like on my lid if that makes sense so if you have that it, it does make applying this a little bit more difficult so just be patient and sometimes you'll have to work your brush under those lashes to get there if that makes sense but just be patient it's so like here it's kind of a little more difficult to get under but you'll make your way there. So that is the first step so you could see the difference obviously it's a little darker on the lash line. And this is when I'll kind of start to wing. So I'm not gonna go in with any additional product right now. And the key here is to follow your lower lash line up. So at least with me and my hooded eyes, that's what I find is most flattering. A lot of people will kind of like go out with their hooded, with their hooded, with their winged liner from here, they'll just go out. 
I like to go up to kind of lift the eye as much as possible and I like to not have any additional product on the brush at first because I can kind of outline what I want to do and if I make a mistake I can kind of wipe it off. So following that lash line I'm going to kind of angle it so I could see that would literally be the continuation and start to build that micro wing and once I have that laid out I go about halfway in and connect and I honestly don't even need to add product because I, there was enough on the brush for me see how that looks I'll look down so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And that is the most flattering wing that I find you can do when you have hooded eyes like mine that are heavy and kind of like this part like sinks down over most of the, the lid area. This is the most fine wing that I find is flattering. So let me quickly go ahead and do this eye and then we'll talk a little bit more. All right, so both wings are done. Obviously, they're not perfectly even because I'm human, but that is pretty much how I do my winged liner. If I'm going to do a wing, a micro wing, that's what I call it because it is so tiny, but it just adds that little definition that you need. And if I didn't have on my lash extensions, I would curl my lashes a little bit more and probably go in with another coat of mascara, but it's a little more difficult when you have the eyelash extensions on but yeah I really like that I think it's nice and simple but gives you that whole look so another step that you can do at this point but again with the Sigma liner you don't need to do this but you can is go in again with that same brush and just a black shadow this is the Morphe 25A palette and go right on top of it it'll deepen the black a little bit more and it'll really prevent transfer so I'll go ahead and do it just because I feel like I can use it because the lash extensions are kind of stopping me from getting in there and this is when you can kind of smoke it out a little bit more too if you wanted to you can like use the shadow to smoke out the liner if you didn't want it so like stark and harsh you could kind of go up and work it over if you wanted to like I feel like I have a little patch right here that this will fix right up so you see that it kind of softens the whole liner look you know what I mean and again this will help with longevity so if you have the extra time to do this it's nice but again with that Sigma gel liner I find it lasts all day and doesn't transfer and that is pretty much it when it comes to winged liner with hooded eyes. At least that's my favorite way. Now I've showed other ways in my like hooded eye videos, uh, like do's and don'ts, what YouTube isn't telling you. I'll link those below if you want to see them. But you can always go in with something, let me grab one, like a flat liner brush to start. I like to dip this in a brown or a black uh, just shadow and then you kind of work it in like this you could do that with the gel liner as well as like a baby step but if you want to do like a real wing this is what I would go with I think it looks very flattering and it's like it just works it works with hooded eyes so I'm gonna keep this video short and sweet I hope this was helpful to some of you if you guys have any questions at all please leave them below if you haven't subscribed please subscribe it means the world to me and I hope to see you guys in the next one thanks so much for watching bye bye